Hello everybody. So there is uh, another Bantra Blitz here with uh, with me. And okay, yesterday it was uh, let's say Russian dish, and today it's more international. So let's um, I think we should get started. So there is someone who loves bad, probably bad hormones. So okay, let's let's go for it. E4 and okay. Somehow it's it's the Sicilian. Okay, he blunders me a pawn. Let's let's win it. Whoever loves Beth, uh, don't blunder a pawn for free. That's that's a wisdom for today. Yeah, okay, I have two bishops. But the position is not that shiny for me, I would say. Maybe winning, but not that shiny. Okay, c4, let's close the center so we are not getting mated. And we gotta be sure about it. And the guy asks me, what do I think about Dubov against Karyakin? Well, obviously a great game, uh, but in my opinion, uh, I think that uh, Fedosev against Matlakov from the same super final is even more, more interesting. Just for my taste, I would say. Okay, let's uh, double the rooks here. No, he doesn't want me to double the rooks. Okay. Let's make some fun then. Okay, let's play like an old and rusty man, yeah, like just trade, trade some pieces, trade some pieces, blunder some bones. Hmm. So we got, uh, we got to hunt the queen down, yeah, let's try. Hang on, what do I, what should I play this? Uh -huh. Oh my God, this is so brilliant. Whoa, uh, still I might, I must be winning, but this is, yeah, this is just brilliant. Winning 595, very, very smart. So how are you guys doing? I think this is a little bit early for a proper banter blitz because it's only 2 p.m. Uh, European time and 4 p.m. seat for 4 p.m. Moscow thus uh, okay uh, it's it's already a moment for me for wake up indeed but uh, for those who have some I don't know some job might be you guys are still still working Oh, that's that's challenging. I, I should accept it for sure. And now I give a couple more checks and they win. Um, I win the night, and therefore the game. Okay. Oh my god, the blunder took free. Fuck. <clears throat> I mean, this is too much for me. I I, I get I get to wake up. Okay, let's let's resign. <laughs> I get to wake up. I have some tea here. Okay, congratulations for the guy who never resigns. Uh, let's uh, win some rating back. So some guy, feed master with 3000. Let's get some rating back. So we go back to Alapin. Take. Yeah, actually, I expected more uh, for my opponent to resign than to play on, but 
uh, he was just too brilliant for me. Yeah, I'm not sure if the F word is is so welcome here on YouTube, so I decided to be silent. I don't know. Let's play like this. Let's try 9g5. You have no idea what's going on, so probably he can take that pawn, that pawn, but okay, I'm I'm in the mood to blunder everything. In the mood and in the mood. Let's see what's going on. At least we made him think. Okay, then we give a check. So probably we interrupt his castling right now. Okay, let's let's go vamos. I think king, I think each one is all right. Frankly speaking, might be not so. Maybe king f1 was better. But let's see what happens. Okay, we give the at least check for sure. The check for pawn. I don't want you know I don't want guys to open up uh, this uh, h file, so that's why I play this one. So in case he play rook e7, he wants queen d5, probably. But then I take on d7, and I'm super good. I think very, very good position for, for white here. And uh, what to do here? Probably, OK, a check, but then he has this g6 in the end of the day, yeah? So I think I just, I guess I just win back uh, the bishop at first. And then I think. Such a greedy goose. He just takes everything he can take. Why not? Still, I think, okay, white is more than just all right here. So just such activity, two bishops. Well, he's provoking me for queen g4, okay. So now I feel like I'm really good at chess. Maybe I'm so wrong. So obviously there is more than one way here for me to win. Yet I have to choose one. Okay, let's give a check. Probably queen g6. So my next move is just bishop d3 and I attack h7 twice. So I don't see him really protecting this uh, this rook. So he might try, I don't know, some uh, desperate queen sacrifice, but it would only work in case if I, you know, uh, if I blunder my queen for a second game in a row. Really play chess on Christmas. Well, you know, here in Russia, we don't really celebrate Christmas uh, on, you know, in the end of December. We have a uh, uh, new year and then uh, we have our Christmas. It's uh, because okay, it's slightly different uh, edition of uh, religion. Yeah. Who is here? Uh, Kara Ivosa from Paraguay. Okay, let's go. And uh, okay, let's go for Sikorsky. Yep, and uh, I think it's on the seventh uh, of January normally. So I'm, you know, at least in our family, we normally celebrate New Year. So New Year is a more uh, popular holiday, I would say. So there is nothing wrong with playing chess, but of course, uh, in every holiday, I'm trying to skip my work. And yeah, chess is sort of the work, of course. He was playing unrated. All right, so then shame on him. Chicken player, officially. Officially a chicken. Let's go for g4. More or less usual stuff these days, yeah, but uh, I remember my game against Vichy Anand when I 
are actually decided to go for this G4, G5 stuff, uh, just uh, over the board, you know, any preparation and it worked out pretty well, I would say. Much better than I expected. Will you be streaming on your channel more often now? Well, uh, no ideas. So actually it was a little bit <laughs> depressing because I had a stream uh, regarding the super final and it will be, I think, okay, it was in Russian. Uh, and I think it will be soon uploaded uh, onto YouTube. Yeah, but the trick is, uh, okay, I actually expected uh, someone to watch my stream and okay, I thought that might be okay, people will come. But somehow, you know, the peak uh, viewership was something like uh, 200 and I felt like really depressed about it. So I think like, that's, uh, that's, not, uh, that, that's not enough for sure. And uh, yeah, I know, I know I should stream more regularly if I expect some bigger uh, numbers, but anyway. Moscow was in Petersburg, Moscow, for me, Moscow. Uh, I don't know, I like St. Petersburg, it's a beautiful city, but, uh, you know, it feels like, uh, you know, to live in St. Petersburg is somewhat like living in a museum or something like this. Yeah, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's basically too good. No, no, of course I'm not depressed and uh, this is clearly uh, my choice. I'd like to focus more on chess uh, than on uh, okay, in D4 is weird. So I know I, I see the idea, but it, I don't think it helps. Uh, yeah, I know I, I know it should be, you know, so, someone, let's say like Hikaru, they focus mainly on streaming. I still try to focus on uh, playing chess for sure. I don't know, 96. Basically, any move is winning here. What should I do? What should I do? 96 is winning. What else? Might be I can seek for some uh, spectacular mate or not. I don't see. Okay, I'll give a check. Ah, okay, this uh, this simplifies my task for sure. King of eight could be more unpleasant. All right. Thank you for the game. Uh, all right, let's scroll down. Who's here? I mean from Germany. Let's go. Will you watch Hikaru stream? No, I think we have uh, I have some work to do. Also today, I think I will be commenting on Dubov against Kramnik Blitz match. Uh, it will be on uh, I think our friendly channel of uh, Levit of Chess. Okay, let's go for the Blumenfeld Gambit. Always wanted to try it. And I think it will be quite uh, quite uh, a nice show, Kramnik against Dubov, uh, why not? So might be we can, uh, uh, you know, learn something uh, instructive out of it. Hmm, Bishop G5 and here. What am I supposed to do? Okay, let's try Bishop E7. I'm not sure what am I doing. Feels like I'm just a pawn down for, for no real compensation. So, okay, I think I should cancel. Okay, whatever, let's just develop. I think I should have taken on b5 earlier, but okay, that's just me. Uh, <laughs> I pretended to be a strong player, especially in this opening. Where do you stay in Russia? Most most of time in Moscow. So I was born in a rather big city, but not that, you know, not its capital, Bryansk. It's not so far from Moscow, actually. 
why, why aren't you all guys playing so, so good here, like with e4 and so on? Yeah, it's uh, not... Uh, uh, it's to the southwest, like from Moscow. I would say, okay, he wants to give me this check on b3, sneaky check. Let's, let's, try, let's try not to blunder it. Hang on, but I can take, aha, uh -huh, if I take here with the pawn, he takes on e4, I take on d1, and there is an endgame, and an endgame is good for me, likely. Yeah, so, um, where did I stop? Yeah, so Bransk is, uh, whatever, 350 kilometers southwest to Moscow. Now, of course, not such a big city, but it's also not, not so small one. Okay, so what now? Now we're gonna play the same game. Okay, let's try this one. Are you overweight? Yeah, for sure, for sure. H3, interesting one, but okay, let's just win a pawn. Uh huh. So that, that that's what he wanted. So rook f7, perhaps. Will you try to convert to streaming later? Well, I actually quite like streaming, but uh, since uh, I have some, uh, you know, main activity, some some goal uh, to reach and so on, like, okay, the candidates um, for the title match, I don't think it's uh, a too bright idea to dedicate too much time for yeah, G4 is a nice move, by the way. I have no idea what to do here, to be honest. Yeah, let's give a check. I want to play. I want to play Rook D7, maybe to minimize, you know, the pressure. Yeah, but it's hard to do indeed. Okay, let's let's go forward then. Probably rook f7, bishop f8. This looks ugly. But hopefully I can sort it out. Okay, rook c7. So now if he does nothing, then my pawn uh, just rolls forward. Okay, let's let's play a uh, decent move. Okay, this is rook on h5. Oh, come on. No, this is not a move. Thank you, Ermin. Uh, Dolgo rookie. All right. How did you manage to win your first tournament? Well, actually, I wasn't even trying to win it. I just was trying to get some practice and not to, you know, not to fail too badly. Okay, I like this proactive G5 stuff. Aha, uh -huh, so he got baited. No, it's not only 2500s. I'm just picking some random uh, guys from the top of the list, and of course, I'll uh, sooner or later I will try to scroll down and to find someone else to play with. So you guys, I think we have a uh, small democracy here, so I'll try to play with everyone. In the game when Magnus Mao sleep, would I offer a draw? Well, I, you know, I just wanted to, uh, actually I have, I had nothing against the draw, but I think it's a little bit, uh, that's a bad move. Uh, I think you know, in some way, it's a little bit insulting for a player uh, to get such a draw offer. It might be because you know, you you got to have some pride. So you know, this game is not the end of the world, of course. For uh, okay, for Magnus, for anybody else. So I don't think it's some sort of accumulation, but you know, anyway, uh, like being. Good uh offer to draw in such a situation is not something you dream about uh alongside me of course you don't you don't want to get into such a situation but anyway it's such a weird position i have no idea what's going on okay let's try i don't know let's try six i don't know why queen he wants so he goes uh, with his queen 
somewhere to each one I get it prevented I don't know let's find an idea well so I guess uh, the game itself wasn't that uh, important it was only the first round nothing uh, could be decided by the opponent and yeah of course it's a bad luck for Magnus but also I mean I was more concerned about uh, the way I played the game because I mean, I was winning out of the opening, <laughs> then I was winning, then I equalized, and I was winning again, and I was losing, and then, okay, it ended up in a stupid way by blundering, uh, I, I mean, blundering a queen but with a mouse sleep. All right, so what's going on? Let's, let's try to figure out. I want to try to trade bishops. I might play b5, actually. I get a tink. Takes, I give a check. I take here and now, okay, I got to move my knight to h5. So I, how do I reach h5? That there is no way. Okay, okay, that's sad. But what else? What else, what else can I do? Okay, and then we go to g5, if not h5. There is e4 move. Actually, I didn't expect this move to be played, but but, but my opponent had another idea for sure. Okay, I can go for a four if he takes g3, e3, g2, knight e2. Then what? Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot. I think it's the wrong one, but I I just I just want to try. What do I do now? I got to bring my knight into place in some way. So knight f7 is boring. Let's go here. That's a bad one now. He blunders if he pawn. He could play knight g1 and it was correct. And this move is just bad. I think now he's worse. Okay, one, two. Okay, probably I could play knight d2, but let's let's just grab b5 pawn. Would be alright. So we trade. And take and this end game might be not that not that winning for me as it seems initially but uh, I really hope it is winning so he has to play something like I don't know King d4 okay now c6 now c5 yeah now check and win the pawn so what do we do here I okay, can probably just be five. We can uh, roll our own porn forward. Yep. Yep, was a close game. Thank you, Dolgaruki. <clears throat> so let's play with someone, uh, whatever you wanted, 150. I want father, I mean, sorry, 1500s. Jamie, I don't know, Jamie. Let it be you, Jamie1995. I started playing chess. I think I was like five years old. I mean, even slightly less. I think yeah, I I learned to play chess when I was like four years and I know four and a half or something. Who's your favorite world chess champion? I think I like him because it comes from my childhood. Okay, Jamie is not okay. Jamie's playing. That's good. Let's fianchitize all our bishops. As many bishops as we can. As, uh, only two. So I'll write e6. So he wants to trade now. Do I want to trade? No, I, I don't think so. I think I want to bring my knight to g6 instead. So what's going on? Let's go for g5, then d6, then knight g6. Okay, 
So we go for d6. Do we capture on f3 actually or not? I think I think we do. I think we do. And then we bring our knight to h4, queen to h5, and try to deliver a mate quickly. d5 is a clever one, indeed. Okay, let's go knight h4. Let's try to be scary. That's the last thing we have in this position, which is not bright at all. Why you blitz out most when you're winning? Why oh, blitz out most when I'm playing? It's, it's not only about winning. Okay, five, so let's close the center so we can uh, freely attack the king. Do not care too much about his counterplay. So what's this? Like, okay, F3 is hanging at the moment. And also some G4 ideas to come. I think, yeah, okay, this uh, this question about um, Dubov against Kiryakin is, I think I have already uh, answered it, but you know, I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm, of course, I can share your emotions about it. I don't know, this bright um, attack by white, but in general, it's, uh, you know, I don't think it's the, actually, I don't think it's the brightest game from the Russian Super Final. So I like, uh, personally, I like Matlakov Fidesi more. It's more crazy, like some pure chaos at the board. And uh, that's what I really value very high in chess, especially when you play uh, not with your analysis, you play like on your own, it's only your fantasy. What's going on? Okay, let's take this, I have no idea. Yep. So that's that's it, and yeah, of course it's a huge, huge uh, how how to call it uh, huge success. It's a very very creative game from Daniel, but you know we already got used to that Daniel is a very creative player, and this never comes as a surprise, especially uh, lately. Yeah, White is a little bit bound here. Okay, this blunders the queen, unfortunately. So my goal now is not to blunder a queen in, in return. Thank you, Jamie. So it's neither of master one, two, three. Clearly, clearly the guy who likes Daniel. So let's see if he plays neither. How is my prey for candidates? Well, the main part of the prey for the candidates is uh, to find out if, uh, you know, if it's really gonna happen. At, okay, this is not neither. This is uh, 96 move two. Already not knight of, so we never know if he's a knight of master. Yep. So I, I wanna I wanna know I wanna get some news uh, if the tournament is going to happen and which particular time if if it, if it is going to happen. So would it be March or, or April or I don't know something else. What's this? Love from India. Thank you very much. Tony Stark asks, asks, "What's my insurance speed?" It's, I believe it's not that, that it's not very high. Uh, this is some bad example of uh, Chelyabinsky. White reached everything he wants. So here, basically, you know, if you retain in such position with black, you normally don't spoil anything because it's super ugly to play like okay the bishop on e7 you, you you only pray this bishop becomes a pawn so it moves to e6 and gets rid of this knight on d5 uh, but it's only a bishop and uh, you've got to suffer like forever 
Uh, unless your opponent wants to end your suffering. You're first on people making fun of Anish. I think uh, Anish is quite happy to make fun himself, so that's that's quite uh, you know quite fair. Such a jolly person. Yeah, now we open a file. Okay, so we can take with the knight, we can take with the pawn. Both works pretty well. Okay, let's try taking with the pawn. I like it more. So opening a file for the future uh, might actually help. So what's this? Uh, let's let's play rook a7. Won't spoil anything, I think. Yeah. Let's take. Okay, queen b6. But okay, now I think I should just should trade queens and. Uh, okay, this is not any more fun for black. Actually, the game didn't promise any fun for black any anyway. But uh, this is either or. C4. Let's read. Okay, let's read some questions. Meanwhile, uh, Kramnik in a match soon. Yeah, Kramnik is playing against Dubov. Uh, I think it. I think it starts about four, four p.m. Uh, four p.m. Um, set European time. So, I think yeah, it's any anyway. It will be a thing to watch. I'm not sure if uh, it's covered by uh, someone in English, but yeah, I think I will be making some small coverage and hopefully funny one <laughs> uh, for Russian audience. Okay, King G3. I don't know, let's play Rook E6. Mm, so he gives me this pawn. Okay, I don't really want to take it. I wanna, I wanna hunt down another pawn. Okay, this pawn is more sweet. Yeah, you see there, there is, oh, oh my gosh. Actually, this was a good move for black because now probably black will finally end this uh, unpleasant game. Thank you, master of the Nidorf. You better play Nidorf next time. So let's see who is who else challenging me here. Badzer Blitzer. Okay, I like the nickname. Let's okay, let's play the grub. Whoa, this is very principal. C5 and G5. Oh my god. Okay, let's go for B4. Let's imagine we are playing uh, Benko Gambit or Volga Gambit as we call it in Russia. I, by the way, what? Okay, finally this pays off. Thank you, Pazzi Blitzer. Actually, uh, this time I should uh, I should point out that the nickname is quite fair. <laughs> you played quickly, you blitz it out, and yeah, you wasn't quite successful at this time. But be best of luck for the next challenge. Chess master from from Poland, actually. Okay, let's see. If you're here, then make a move, dude. <sighs> okay, meanwhile, if move is not coming, I'm trying to figure out who is the next. Okay, I don't think I can wait forever. One, two, three, four, five. And okay, sorry, I bored. Okay, let's play with someone stronger. I saw someone 2800s. Hang on, where are you? Where are you did? Okay, you're here from France. From France. Okay, G6. Okay, we're. Finally playing something normal, yeah, we're playing some Greenfield. E3. Let's all see move. Okay, bishop e2 is not that not that brilliant, I would say. So basically white is uh, no, 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 normally white is playing something like bishop c4, trying to get more an active position. 
um, than, uh, than this one, but also who knows, might be this is a way to play. Okay, queen e5 or queen b6, not that bright, but might also be a move. So rook f to d8. Have you worked with Varetsky? How was your experience? Well, uh, thank you, actually. Thank you for this question. Uh, I can't say. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. I don't think I, I can call myself uh, uh, his student because uh, our work together was uh, not that massive. And uh, we more, you know, lay level, you know, lay, Later, because then it was very, very young, yeah, like then I, when I was a kid, I thought that okay, his uh, you know lessons and his uh, way of studying chess is too boring for me, and it's wrong. And of course, then I grew up, I understood it's different. But um, indeed, it was super useful, and uh, you know we were more like some some friends than uh, you know a teacher and a student. Uh, but uh, indeed, when I had some, uh, you know, problems which I couldn't so solve, you know, myself, uh, I can say that, yeah, time to time I came uh, to his place and uh, asked for an advice and he would never turn me, turn me down, yeah, like he would always listen to me and say what he thinks about this uh, or that particular problem. Yeah, but of course, I really regret that uh, we couldn't work for some more places. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, even though, even though I think, uh, you know, uh, the level uh, of my technical end games, which I personally think is rather high, uh, is for sure, uh, it's about my work with uh, Mark Israelich. I don't know what's going on, so I gave uh, this e7 pawn for some reason. Basically, okay, there was no reason for sure, but I don't know, might be I can trick my opponent later. C1. I want, uh, did I want to do something here? Okay, let's try, let's try rook e8. Might be some trick will work. Might be world, might be will, might be not. Okay, let's take. Let's take, let's take, at least I want a pawn, at least I want a pawn back. My thoughts on Vidit's uh, opening prep. Yeah, you know what uh, this this line from uh, his game with uh, Maxim, Vidit against Maxim, I was very funny because it was also my prep. And okay, I knew this particular line, like, the whole line, and that's why I just wanted to deviate a little bit because I was a little bit, you know, sort of afraid of uh, this line, but of course there was no real reason because okay, this line is more or less clueless for white, so white is not going to, to win for sure. Uh, but yes, this is, uh, this might be, this might look, let's say, weird, and uh, you would never expect such, you know, you can never expect such things will happen in your game, but it's, uh, anyway, it's very good to, it's, it's very good to know this line, yeah, if you're playing some force at Grunfeld. Okay, King C6. And now he's playing so quickly. Oh my god. Read you. I read you. I read you. It's easy. Okay, GG. So who else is challenging me here? I don't know, some guy. Let's let's pick someone from the top of the list. Yeah, because I think we had we had, we had the same game with Vidit on the Olympiad, the same line at least. Okay, let's try d5. I didn't want I didn't want to go for some normal opening, so let's go for this crappy. Do you remember Alex Bach, Axel Bachmann? Yeah, sure, because uh, I played with him uh, in uh, Oropesa del Mar, 2001. And the guy, I think he played something like b6 move 1 against me or e6 b6. 
and actually he drew. So I thought I expected him to get crushed, but <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow we ended up in a draw. So it's great. He later uh, kept his uh, work uh, in chess, and he became an GM. Castle. Very smart bishop before preventing me from e5 in the future. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's just protect the pawn. I don't really like my position. It's boring and it's just worse because the bishop is not that shiny. Okay, he wants the end game. Let's let's go. Nicest 27 plus 2700 GM. Of course, it's me. <laughs> like. Come on, how could you how could you think differently? Of course it's me. Okay, the rook end game. So let's see what did what did Varesk actually teach me here? I don't think here is uh, a real way to play for a win. But I'll try to. Do you use the correspondence chess database when you're preparing? Yeah, that's a common place, I would say. Everyone uses uh, correspondence uh, games for preparation because, you know, a lot of the deep uh, computer ideas I already tested there, and there is, you know, uh, there is always some material to, to learn, to think, and uh, to use. And this is. It's different, you know, it's difficult to imagine, uh, you know, modern nowadays preparation without these, uh, without these games. So basically there is nothing new. You can reach uh, the same, uh, you know, the same results by analyzing games with the computer. Uh, but, uh, you know, if someone did this work uh, prior to you, before you, why not to use, uh, you know, the fruitful, the fruitful work. No, nice, but it's so good. Be nice, speak English, respect the players. So, so clever, so smart. Uh, if I like parties, well, I can't say that I really used to party hard, but uh, yeah, indeed, uh, when I have a chance, I, uh, I attend some, uh, but, you know, recently there is there is no real possibility to to party. Okay, now my pawn is promoting. Thank you. Thank you for the game. So let's play with someone higher rated. Twenty seven thirty five from Belgium. Belgium is. It's cool. I like Belgium, especially I like Bruges. Uh, but he wants now to trade. Oh, those Belgian guys. Too pacifistic. And now Bishop D2, this is. Uh, this is a weird maneuver. But might be I'm just not so good for it. So normally h6 is not a weakening, it's just a useful move. In some ways, though, it's in, in, in some cases, yeah, though it's it might be it might be unnecessary, but okay, maybe here by the way, it's, it's not so great, it's not so great for me. Okay, I don't care, I just wanna I wanna castle, wanna end the development and then see what happens next. So let's go for c6. Queen e7, okay, rook e8. Okay, now that because of the pawn on h6, I have no rook e8 here, yeah? so that's that's how I was brilliantly outplayed by my opponent. No, okay, now I see the truth has been revealed. So, finally. Uh, 
skill in La Liga. That's a cool one. I actually think uh, Atletico has some fine chances since uh, both Barcelona and Real is uh, in some dark and tough period of its of its history. So I wouldn't expect Barca might be Real Madrid, but I think that Atletico has really fine chance this year. So Belgian chess school is surely superior to to mine. Soviet two bishops against two knights. Okay, five. I get a player with f6. I think okay. I think now I go knight d6. I think now it's all right, but I might be very very wrong. So it looks looks all right, but especially if I play knight e4. So I need another move to consolidate my forces. I think Karpov was underrated. To, what do you call underrated? I mean, okay, he's one of the most mm, I don't know successful players in chess history, like according to official statistics at least. Yeah, and indeed he was the world champion, but. Yeah, of course, uh, for me, it's a pity we never saw the match between uh, Karpov and Fischer. But on the contrary, we had a uh, few other matches, like, I mean, okay, superior matches. What? Oh, dear. What's going on? Oh, dear. Okay, I, I just accept the... I just accept it. I call your bluff, man. I call your bluff. So now I get a... Uh, just rook of eight. I don't know. Just bring my bring my rook closer. Yeah, and okay. Uh, so he had the the title for I don't know twelve years or something. Karpov, yeah. So from seventy three to eighty five or eighty six. So I I want to call him underrated. Indeed. What can you say about Rina Jumabayev? Uh, I can say hi to Rina Jumabayev. I know him. For many many years, uh, since childhood, I guess I'll just trade. I just trade everything. I think it's all right. So what what do I do now? Okay, maybe I just play h five, and then g three. I'm so I'm so tricky these days, yeah. Thank you for the game. What? I mean, okay, someone from Spain wanted to play one game, but I will play another game. Another guy, just few J Frey J F K O Nessa. I don't know what does it mean, but good luck. So, I don't know, let's play B6. Opinion on whom? Samai right now. I, I know this. Uh, this guy, like, he's comedian or uh, or comic? How, how do you call it? From India, yeah. That, that that's all I know actually. So, I I, I have no opinion. Okay, let's let's grab the bishop. And give a check. And castle. What's the meaning of my uh, nickname? There is now no, nothing special. I just, I know that I was uh, younger. I had the nickname uh, Frost Nola, everywhere, like like literally everywhere. But since it's a very common, uh, especially in some online games, I found at some point that it was it has been it has been already taken, almost. On all the platforms, so I had to think about a new one, and okay, then I came up with this uh, Lachesis Q, because okay, like Lachesis Q, because this Lachesis was um, uh, <laughs> though back then, yeah, it was my uh, Razer mouse, which I used and uh, I liked. Now it's no longer, let's say, produced, but uh, it was one of the 
I believe, popular models for, for of Razer. So it's just basically Q at the end uh, is what Q is. Ah, I think, yeah, like I said, it was also taken, yes. Yeah? So the Q on the end and then to create a new one. Oh, and this is this is a piece for free. So let's take it. And this is a pawn for free. May, might be not so for free, but looks all right. How to find the better the best moves? Let's. If I only knew how to find all the best moves, I would surely become the world champion. But by that moment, but uh, well, uh, not yet. So who is here? Thank you for the game. Who else? Who else is going to play? Oh wow, well, someone. Oh, GM Ariane. Okay, this is the guy who is not GM Ariane, but I played with him before. And you know some guys. Okay, Taras zero five. Uh, he wanted to play yesterday during the Russian banter, and we played one game actually. So let's play another one. Mm, my views on India getting gold. You know, I actually have my own YouTube channel, which is <laughs> simple. This is quite, you know, it's quite easy to find it. It's also uh, the same uh, as my nickname, which can be seen here. So go there and uh, if you, I don't know, scroll down the videos a little bit, you will surely find my take on this, which was recorded, I think, in the beginning of the September when it was all uh, all fresh and uh, there was no need to, you know. Now it's, you know, already more or less, more or less over. So not, 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 not so much excitement, our, ten our tension. All right, so Taras uh, 05 is not going to play, as it seems. Though, let's play with someone else. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I like the Federation. It's from Greenland. Greenland is very cool. Let's go. Ah, but he's not premium. Sorry, sorry, dude, you're not premium. I know I'm getting uh, criticized by playing on the premium. So uh, Cosmos does all right. Might be, might be this is all right. When was the last time I played <laughs> Dota? Yeah, actually, I um, I read the change log uh, no no later than. Uh, you know, than yesterday in the evening, and uh, I have seen uh, some very, very weird changes too, to be honest. I mean, like, I think G5 is played here, yeah? And then G4. And then, okay, some changes are really weird. And uh, I think, okay, this Aghanim shard is uh, quite a thing. And of course, for many, many heroes, it's like a waste of money. But for example, for the Furion, I think in Nature's Prophet, it's like very, very great. So since uh, he quickly gets some amount of money and he has this uh, buffed sprout, it's, in my opinion, this is just imbalanced. But you know, last time I played, I believe it was like maybe in summer. So I play Dota Underlords from time to time, but this is a little bit different. Japanese do suggest for beginners to learn. Well, something something really simple and classical. And uh, normally, okay, in the beginning of the chess game, you get to develop your pieces and uh, don't. I think I don't think you should care too much about the openings. Uh, to be honest, I think it's more about mastering uh, the game, like finding the optimal squares for your pieces and so on. So as you can see, I'm not the master. I can't. I, I really struggle finding the the place, the square for my queen. For rook f1, I'm scared, let's retreat. 
Do you still play Hearthstone? I know, I know, I know there's a new patch there, and might be I, I would play a couple of a uh, couple of games in Battlegrounds or Ladder, but it's not anything I do regularly. So I, I don't, I don't really like it at the moment. So let's try to break through. Meanwhile, what's your favorite chess format? Classical, Rabbit, or Blitz? Recently, I mean, okay, till the very uh, recent times, I think I would prefer Blitz or Rapid because uh, you know it's more more tense. Uh, you, it's, it's it's more fun in the end, yeah. So you can things are happening, uh, you know, more. Uh, you know, quicker and so on. But uh, now I think like I really enjoy some the process of thinking, the process of finding the best move. So that's why now I actually prefer um, I actually prefer classical. And I really think okay, these things like ultra bullet and uh, bullet. I mean, okay, you would better play I don't know CS:GO or something <laughs> because it makes much more sense for me. So in those games which are actually designed for uh, clicking uh, a lot with your mouse and making a lot of actions per minute, I don't know, StarCraft, WarCraft, uh, okay, let's see, Dota, why not? And instead of this, uh, you do, you do, you drink the same uh, playing Ultra Ballet. I mean, this is this is wrong, in my opinion. Okay, better is not get, is not to get mated right now. So let's uh, let's figure out. Let's play C5. So now I'm sure I'm not getting mated. Maybe I, could, I should have played H2, by the way. But still, he's so low on time. I think there is no 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 not real chance for him in this game. Yeah, yeah, I know there is a new hero, Hoodwink. <laughs> Well, what's it's inspired? Is it a squirrel? Just a squirrel or something? Or it's a magical squirrel? I don't know. Okay, queen b5, king a7. Yeah, thank you for the game, but uh, you played well, but you were too slow. Uh, someone from France, someone from, okay, Kruki, 1974. Uh, let's, let's play Croatia. I actually like Croatia. So some uh, opening from early, you know, early 20th century. Like for pawns, then you maintain the center and then you go for mate and then, and then you sometimes win. He offers me G3, but I don't want to. I have my plan. Okay, I don't know. Let's play rook f3. So we bring the rook to h3, and then we start hanging around with all the pieces. All right, so I should retreat. Maybe now knight f2, then g4. How much time do you spend memorizing lines for a game? Doesn't really matter because I can't memorize <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I will mix up all, all lines. Which is highly, which is very, really highly possible. How's Russian wheat? Well, I don't know. If I if I even knew, I would never discuss it. Here.
Yeah, by the way, if we have uh, any mods here in chat, I think those, you know, those guys who are spamming too much, they got to be a little bit restricted or uh, they got to calm down. So we want a pawn ID4. Okay, this is a bright one, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I have something to interrupt this brilliancy. Yeah, Krugy, thanks for the game. Let's see who else is here. Okay, let's play Gian Marian. And he's, uh, he might be not here actually. Yeah? Says that he's offline. Oh no, he's here. That's cool. So some rating is here to to pick. Thank you. Why you play fast against Magnus? I mean, should we? Is there a, a, you know a rule or a law in chess which uh, says uh, you gotta play slow? I don't, I don't think so actually. Same as uh, if there is there is no rule uh, or a law in chess which says uh, you shouldn't you should never smile you should never smile for long. Okay, c5, let's go for c4. Already looks like much better for me. Might be okay now he can play bishop c1 and uh, maintain uh, uh, his position a little bit. Still, I wouldn't like to win his shoes now. Knight e4. Ah, uh, that's creative. All right, let's go bishop d4, then knight e5. Let's regroup pieces. A little. Who you think is the promising youngster? Young, youngster uh, that looks signed with uh, Firuja. Well, uh, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure, by the way, how old is he? Is he already 18 or not yet? Or he's 17? But uh, indeed, uh, I wouldn't uh, focus on, like, the age and the days and so on. Like, I think it's roughly, roughly the same. Yeah, the same story if you are. That doesn't really matter. What, 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 what age? What, what is the exact age? The only thing that matters if your rook is getting caught or not, or your bishop. I hate those moments, and he makes me thinking. This is absolutely hateful. Okay, I don't know, let's play h6. Let's give away pawn. I don't know why, but I think the centralization is more important. Thoughts on the Dutch opening? You know, as the great uh, Tigran Petrosian said some, uh, sometimes, some time ago, if your opponent wants to play the Dutch, you should never prevent him from doing it. And this is actually the best, <laughs> the best proverb which describes, uh, which describes uh, the Dutch. So it's more or less decent opening, but uh, you know, it's a little bit suspicious. So I won't, I, I, I can't say it's incorrect, but I wouldn't recommend you playing it, of course. Okay, let's take, let's, I don't know, let's take here. And yep, he wants to make a draw here. But I don't think we will let him do it. C6, 
So first and foremost, let's centralize. Uh, doesn't seem that he's too thrilled with it. Yeah, but now we can win a phone. A phone is a phone. So what, what do we do? There is a six, but then 96, a 98, then he takes here. Okay, let's play 98, so he takes. Ah, he didn't take. That's interesting. So let's try g4. It's a fork for the knight and the pawn. So we win it, and we run the king. Uh, to prevent pawn from promoting. Okay. Okay, handgun. Handgun. I'm I'm uh, more quick today. Okay, let's promote rook. Thank you. So let's uh, proceed to the next one. Uh, who's here? Sevalot, 007. But unfortunately, not a premium, so I can't accept. It's a PG Ruvino from uh, Germany. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's do F5. I'm promoting F5 right now, so let's see what happens. Uh, that's unlucky. <laughs> that's unlucky, actually. I didn't really want to see e4 happening. All right, but he's not accepting. Come on, what a what a spirit! I like it. Who is better, Dubov or Dobrov? <laughs> I don't know about Dubov and Dobrov, but you know, uh, some uh, I, I would say like ten or fifteen years ago. On a on European Club Cup, there was a team from Ukraine, uh, and for the for that team, uh, Zub Zubarev, Zubov, and probably Zubov. Okay, three guys out of four were playing for this team, and uh, we've you know you see all their surnames are more or less uh, one like another. Do you know tattoo? Of course. Well, it's uh, it's uh, one of their I think most popular pop groups uh, from you know pop music bands uh, in uh, early in early uh, tens years. I mean, okay, from from you know, I think it 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 was even uh, they were very successful at Eurovision. Once. Opinions on Vincent Kamer. I have, have no real opinion. I think he's extremely talented. Uh, okay, as they say, chess prodigy. Uh, but uh, I'm not so sure. It's, so it's better to address this question to, you know, I don't know, to Vincent or to his coach. So clearly, anyway, if you show such results and you earn GM title that early, of course, you, uh, you're you a promising dude. So uh, e e even I was uh, sort of, the, you know, those these promising dude back then in, let's say 15 years ago. Which, plat which platform you stream? Uh, okay, when I stream, I normally stream on Twitch, but, uh, YouTube, I use more like a video hosting for, you know, to upload my vids, but uh, it's, you know, it's not every time on English or on Russian, I try to shuffle. And, uh, okay, and also this depends on the mood, on mood, but uh, I was more about, I was more, you know, involved into streaming uh, during this summer and early spring quarantine period, and okay, now it's more about back to normal life in uh, this or that meaning because <laughs> okay the weird, weird part of the situation is uh, getting worse but we are trying to get to normal life still 
And now let's see if he shows the refutation. I'm curious. No, he didn't. That's pity. No, before was a repetition. A refutation, sorry. Who will be the next Bobby Fischer? No one, Bobby Fischer is one and only. Okay, then, then, then this one. Thanks for the game, Rovinho. So let's scroll there, scroll it down. Michal Palichka from Slovakia. Okay, why not? Michal, let's play a game. Who is better, you or Grishuk? Uh, depends on uh, which, uh, you know, <laughs> what are we talking about? I think in computer games, I'm better than Grishuk, but in poker, he's better than me. And uh, in chess, I think it's more or less the same level. What do I think about King's Indian defense? And you won. Well, I mean, we still can quote uh, some uh, great chess player. I think at the same time, uh, Tigran Petrosian, I think he said something like, uh, I can still, uh, okay, let's say, I can still feed my family because of those King's Indian players. And because he really had some outstanding results in the King's Indian, and he was scoring really, really a lot. And it was something like, uh, feeding his family or building, uh, I don't know, building his house, be all, all because of the King's Indian. So bishop e7. d4. Okay, no, I don't know, let's play rook c8. I can't uh, decide what should I do here. So should I go for a mate or for a positional play, let's say. I don't like both. So, okay, let's let's take positional first and then it fail. If, if it fails, then we go for a mate. Some universal, universal plan for today. Should beginners play Sicilian Dragon or Karakan? You know, beginners should play whichever they want because it doesn't really matter. So when I was um, when I was starting my way, I was playing Karo Khan because my first um, first coach uh, played Karo Khan. And I think I was playing only Catalan or White because, okay, once again, the same reason. Yeah, he, my first coach is a Catalan player. Okay, let's go H4. Uh, looks promising. Bishop H4, all right, Knight H5. What's, uh, what's going on? Maybe Bishop D6 was better. Maybe not. Trying to hunt to hunt down his queen. Okay, <laughs> actually not trying anymore, but but wanted. Okay, such a, such a class in ninety five, but uh, won't help. Who do you consider to be greatest of all time in chess? It's hard. It's uh, you know, it's a question just to make some, just to speculate. Okay, some Yafu Ranan from India. Let's try. You can only speculate about it, yeah, because uh, uh, well, uh, in my let's say tier list, I would I would place uh, Robert James Fisher to the very 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 high, to the high spot. Uh, combining his uh, chess and uh, I would say basically financial might be a yeah, financial uh, achievements because actually after Fisher uh, chess became a very very professional sport with uh, all uh, their finances. Combining and okay, of course Gary and Magnus are also so great but uh, you know more or less i can't okay sorry you are not starting the game who else is here uh just like it's 71 okay let's pick someone else take your okay let's go for with take your who is gonna win the candidates give an honest answer i think 
uh, most likely the guy who scores most points after last round is uh, the winner of the candidates. I think this is my answer for you, dude. The most memorable game. Well, my, my speaking about you know my uh, my games, I it's hard to it's hard to say. But uh, the game which uh, made the biggest impression uh, in my um, you know in my life when I was studying it, when I was learning it, I think it's Averbach against Kotov uh, in Zurich uh, in 1953 with uh, the queen sacrifice on h3 and then the king was invited to, to g4 to f5 to e6 and uh, it was uh, they nearly made it after and black won so basically sacrificing a queen for a pawn is is quite a thing okay another guy who is not starting sorry so now i get a seek for a hat trick three guys in a row Five oh, I'm sorry, I can't answer. I can't accept. Someone from Norway, all right. Might be this is more lucky. Let's go for G4. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, do you have a Twitch channel? Yes, I do. It's very simple to find, uh, uh, you know, uh, every, every 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 channel, YouTube channel, uh, Twitch channel is all the same name, like LachesisQ or LachesisQ, and same on Twitter, Instagram, and so on. So this is, I'm not very, you know, versatile on, uh, on, on this. Do you see a god matter? You mean, do I watch it? Yeah, from time to time, because if you watch some chess videos, uh, of course, you're getting uh, this uh, this guy in recommended because of it's probably the most popular YouTube uh, chess streamer. I think yeah. So he might he must be about one million uh, by now. Yeah. So this is uh, an example, of course. Can you play d five right now? No, b six. Okay, he's plotting something against me, but let's. Uh, Let's just take all the material he uh, he offers and and pray that nothing bad will happen. Yeah, Averbach. Uh, yeah, yeah, Averbach is uh, ninety eight already, and you know until until this Corona times, I think he was going uh, to his job every every week. And uh, it was, I think, I believe it's very important for him, but now I'm not so sure if he's feeling well or not, because uh, yeah, it's it's pity he, you know, can't do his usual stuff right now. I mean, uh, re regarding his work. So this looks like a healthy rook for me. Ninety four. What if I take? He takes on d five. All right. It looks like uh, promising for him, but maybe I can, I can survive the storm. Well, everything is hanging. So queen is hanging, knight is hanging, rook is also hanging. So, okay. Let's uh, let's accept. But my opponent was just brilliant and uh, trade everything down until I can, indeed. Uh, actually, I'm just too lazy to calculate if I can keep some material and okay. This is all right, so at least I'm not losing. Oh dear. Uh, no, I won't resign. I have played till the end. Speaking about mouse slips, <laughs> it comes to everybody sometimes. So I gotta take this. Well, uh, so he has a rook. I has a, I have a pawn. He's a little bit low on time, so let's try to play on. 
I would prefer to do it positionally, but I can understand it would be a hard task for me. H5, that's a smart one. I don't know, let's attack the rook. Let's be annoying. Oops. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the way I normally play chess. Couple of free moves. And mate, you know. So, 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 so sorry, dude. You you thought well, but might be you should play a little bit faster next time. Mm -hmm. So who else is here? Jazz beast from Austria. Okay, let's try. Vamos. No idea if it's correct or not, but let's just play some some crap. He wants c4, likely, or why did he play rook e1? I don't see any other reasons. All right, knight d2. So we take here. He takes the knight, probably. I take the knight. And now, okay, and he's winning now. <laughs> Fair enough. My thoughts on Pierce's defense. Well, it's good when you need to play for a win, uh, or then you're afraid of some huge preparation in the main lines, but otherwise, of course, it's not the optimal choice. I mean, mathematically, it's not the optimal choice for, for black. So knight e5, knight e7, the knight king, oh, sorry, knight takes e5, so I take the queen. Probably d4 is very annoying here, I get uh, I get mega castle. Now king also protect this, protects the bishop on b7, so he took. I think I can take with the pawn. And now I don't, I, I don't know what to expect, so clearly white is better, but... Might be not that bad for me, either. Okay, let's defend the pawn. And gone. Okay, so we take. Okay, then let's go for e4. He cannot um, win this pawn immediately, so why not? Okay. What's going on? Let's take. He even pre moves this, yes? So he reads me with, with ease, with ease. What's my favorite Dota hero? <laughs> a good old question, yeah? Almost forgotten by now. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, in the public, it was, it is uh, the Spirit Breaker and then Juggernaut. Okay, taking F to pull twice. So his queen is not so flexible anymore on E2. Has to keep an eye. And after, you know, right after I say he has to keep an eye, he gives me a check. Uh, this, uh, I like the irony. I like the irony. Hmm. I don't know. Let's play h5. Whatever. And g5. So now he might win the pawn on e4, but I don't think it's too good for him. You play Tetris. <laughs> I think not anymore. I used to when I was a kid. A small one, a really, really small one. And I think it was one of the few <laughs> few games I uh, I played because uh, one of the few games we could afford. Yep, yep, okay, I read chat, but uh, I don't think I can read both chats yet, so I try to focus on YouTube chat. 
Sorry, guys. If you expected me to do everything uh, at once, uh, you probably fall to, to a trap of overestimation one. One guy. Okay, Rook G3 on Queen H4 and die attack. Okay, this is this fails because of another check. Which game is difficult to master? I think both is difficult to master. Especially for me. Okay, thank you for the game. Let's uh let's see who is who else is here. Okay, I can by the way I can open the Twitch chat so I can mm, okay, it's not that crowded as YouTube, but okay, now I can also read it. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, we have like uh, four minutes left of our 90 minutes banter session. So let's play with La Trea, a guy with a Spanish uh, flag, I think. Yeah, so it's from Spain and also with a gladiator as a profile picture. So why not? Okay, right, C6. E5. So let's find out what is this special of opening is about. Do you speak Spanish, uh, Paquito? Okay, if, if seriously, no, I uh, I only know, let's say, a few expressions and uh, I can hardly explain, <laughs> you know, explain what I want using Spanish. G3 is a good move. We'll write chess book. Might be one day, but that's not going to happen tomorrow. That's uh, that's what I can uh, that's I can ensure you. So normally you play rook e seven. Uh, sorry, normally you play rook uh, b eight. Here I played rook e seven. I think both is not that bright. And here you you usually just sacrifice some material to get some space. So let's see if I execute it correctly. He took with the knight. Okay, I take a five. Very standard position for Sveshnikov, I would say. Okay, b4, also very normal reaction. Then a guy plays c3. You got to you got to open your bishop as, as soon as possible. So let's let's snatch a pawn. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. So after bishop b3, he sees he can play rook b3 and catch my bishop. But we can keep the bishop alive. I think that's what Sveshnikov player normally do. They don't count pawns. They go for positional uh, advantage. Okay, okay, now we also count pawns because we are not, uh, you know, to experience it here. All right, queen. What queen e5, I believe. I'm not to lose another tempi. So I think he can trade, and okay, he can play bishop h3, like something very, very, very normal for white. And uh, yep, I think I should be careful here not to get into some huge, huge trouble. All right, so rook c2 is something I definitely like. Though, yeah, bishop f5, and yeah, I'm just much worse here. Sad but true. So let's play h6. Okay, not so sad. Okay, I'm happy for the guy I'm playing with. So finally, a guy who outplays me easily. Okay, rook c1, I don't really like. I think. Uh, oh. That was unexpected. What's his idea behind this? Like, if I play e3, rook d8, bishop f8, queen, now queen g4. So this is something very wrong. I'm not, okay, I'm not going for it again. Okay, maybe bishop f6, suddenly. Just covering the back rank.
What's the best game of Michael uh, Michael Tal in my opinion? No idea. I'm not such an, an expert in his games. I think uh, you cannot, um, you know, pick one game separately. Uh, but the whole what? Oh dear. Oh dear. This was this was a trap. I thought you know, guys. I thought it was a blunder, <laughs> but actually it was a trap. All right, but maybe it's lucky for me because now I'm not losing on spot. And uh, if I find some coordination between my pieces, I'm good. Oh. This is a risky one. But maybe this is all right. Okay, so what should I do? I should, what I shouldn't do? I shouldn't, I shouldn't lose in one move. So let's retreat. Let's cover the king. Let's attack the weak pawn now. He had queen f6, by the way. He had queen f6, such a uh, fine move, but he didn't spot it. Okay. And yeah, as usual, uh, I only win <laughs> because of the time factor. Yeah, that's uh, that's just me. That's just me. All right. Thank you, Latreya. Latreya, you played great. Really, really good game, but unfortunately, a little bit too slow. Thus, uh, I think uh, we got, uh, you know, you know, we got to finish a little bit. So thank you guys for uh, your attention. Thank you for playing, and uh, for those who won this or that way, uh, congrats. Oof, he says, yeah, oof, yeah, really oof. So, uh, see you another time and uh, best of luck, take care and good